Hey guys, so <laughs> we start again. Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video for you all about music and um, a project I've been working on. I've been working on this song for about two days, <laughs> and um, it's all inspired about something that I've been learning about much, much, much longer than that. I've uh, been learning about it in this book, which is all about Taliesin, who was a sixth century bard and shaman and druid and yeah pretty cool guy so yeah there's shaman there and all about magic cauldron which um i've been reading about in this book um and some childhood songs that really inspire my writing process when writing about a cauldron were are um, the Book of Ceilings, which is a song uh, by Nobui Matsu from Final Fantasy V, and a couple others. I'll share. Uh, I'll share them with you. So here's the first one. vibe to me. There's something bubbly and creative in the music. Um, there was another song that I was thinking, and I couldn't remember what it was, I couldn't remember what it was, I couldn't remember what it was, and then all of a sudden it was like, ah, I know what it is. So I'll play it for you and, and you try to guess if you know what it is. It's, it's probably from a lot of people's childhood. I believe the song is called uh, Grim Grinning Ghosts, and it's from the Disney Haunted Mansion ride. Um, and I just remember it so vividly from my childhood. I think we had like a promotional Disney tape on VHS, and it had Goofy and Donald and Mickey, and they were the, the mascot outfits, and they were dressed up, and they were going through the ride and twirling around in the ballroom and stuff. And yeah, I remember being pretty young and like, why? You know, you're like, whoa, what is that? That's cool. And uh, yeah, so I always really loved that one. So those are two pieces from my uh, childhood. Oh, and a third inspiration for a good cauldron song would be any piece by Jeff Rotal, <laughs> who is definitely the best example I can think of of a modern day bard. Someone who isn't like Taliesin, who isn't simply composing their music, but is truly channeling it by entering a trance. And, um, yeah, one of their songs, My God, in particular, definitely has those, those chords, the same kind of sound. I mean, it's not the scale that I'll be working in my song, but, uh, yeah, just listen to some of these chords. <laughs> that same cauldron -y, bubbly kind of like mm, that grim grinning ghost sound but also that book of ceiling sound uh, you know it's the song contains something the song is the cauldron and the cauldron contains 
you know, the demons of Solomon's ring and their spells and their magic and their powers, but it also contains so much more. I mean, the actual cauldron I'm writing about isn't a bad cauldron, it's actually a very good cauldron, but like, it's so misunderstood because it exists outside of your standard dualities. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so once I got my sources and my um, subject, I move on to my structure or my um, music theory. And in exploring some modes and some chords, I kind of came up with the 7-6... Uh, third and second frets as being the base of my scale and the G and the D strings. And it just gives me uh, this kind of uh, not so traditional major or minor uh, and more of a Middle Eastern or more of a I think kind of sinister esque or has a bit of that extra flair to it, whatever. Uh, I like to stick around the sixth fret a lot. <laughs> scale. So yeah, so these are like the three building blocks that I'm going to put together and then once I finish the song I'll post the song for you guys and you can kind of hear what I worked out. <laughs> Thank you. 